Okay, we just need a point from our final six games in Border Adventures to be crowned Dutch Airy Divisie champions and finish this series with a league title victory. Don't forget we've got a cup final to play for as well. It could yet become a double winning season. All we've got to do is get a point against Nijmegen and we'll see that beautiful confetti fall. Okay, we're rolling straight from the Ajax match into the Nijmegen game. There's no games that have taken place in between the two. And we're also going to keep with an unchanged squad from that Ajax fixture. I think the two players we brought in for that game did okay. I thought Van der Hayden looked pretty threatening as the number 10. And Dora obviously set up one of the goals and played pretty well as well. So he's going to keep his place. The other player we thought about dropping for the Ajax game was Bremer. He hadn't been in the best of form, but he scored against Ajax. And I think maybe he must have a good personality trait for the big games. He does indeed. He relishes the big matches. Not big matches in Europe, but domestically he seems to do okay. So we're keeping him up top for us today. One point will do it. But you know what that normally means on this infernal game. We're going to suffer a 2-0 defeat to Nijmegen. Where are we? We're in front of our own fans. That's nice. We could lift the trophy in front of the final fans. And we are going to need a good team talk that doesn't lead them to getting too cocky. What are we going to say? Uh, great opportunity to show the pundits they've been right to back you. Let's try that. Not particularly aware of any pundits backing us, to be honest. But got some green out of the players. And we're underway. What are we up to? We're going for a kickoff highlight here. We've won the ball back. That's nice. Going to build from the back. Got it to Muesli. Give it to the Otter. Here he goes. What's he thinking? He sprays it wide. Of course he does. He's got the chinchilla in. We'd like to see a bit more from him in one of these big games. Talking of big games. There he is. Frankie Bremer relishes the big matches. This is huge. And he's there. He needed a couple of little nibbles at it. That wasn't the cleanest through ball, was it? He's got it. He's got it. He's fired it home inside 30 seconds from their kickoff as well. Oh, we're kicking off again. We're going straight to a highlight. Is it the classic equaliser or can we win the ball back and attack them again? Close them down. Hunt them down. What do we got? They've gone long. We could get up and win this. Chima. Absolute warrior, that man. Probably the best. Am I going to say that? I am. The best of our former players that we've brought in to Ajax, I think. That's tough on the Otter. In fact, I'm rethinking that as I speak. Because it is the Otter. But Chima's been great too. Now we've got Chinchilla. He's got Bremer with him. Inside two minutes, it's 2-0. It's looking good. It's looking good. We've all been burned by this game before, haven't we? But I'm thinking it's doable. I'm thinking it's possible. Chinchilla gets through. Nice little ball. First time strike. Bremer. We can't concede three goals, can we? That goal against Ajax was the first goal we conceded in the league for six games. 3-0. Chima, the battler. Five minutes gone. Come on now. Come on. You couldn't... You couldn't throw away a three-goal lead with five minutes played. Maybe the boys are up for this. Maybe they're as desperate for a bit of silverware as we are. Maybe they know that the series is ending. This is their last chance, even though most of them live fictitious lives, of picking up a winner's medal. Oh, we've hacked one off the line. All right. There's still a threat from Nijmegen. We are a bit vulnerable from set pieces. Who's this animal? Has he just hacked down one of our players? He's got booked. They've had three bookings early on. Something's fired them up. I don't think we need to use our team talks. I think we can keep our powder dry. 3-0 up on the half an hour mark. And we've got to throw in deep in their half. Muesli over Chinchilla. 
Ah, oh, why are you shooting from there? You're virtually on the goal line. You got paint on your boots. And you slash it into the side net. And well, of course you do. You're having a shot from an impossible angle. That's a bit better, though. Bremer had an impossible angle and he's played it out. And the hones up from left back, volleys it over the bar. I'm going to say I'm mildly contented with this half. I think they've done all right. Oh, Muesli's been felled. Muesli has been felled. Are we able? No, come on, what are we thinking? You can't bring Peter Musa on just to take a penalty after 40 minutes. A penalty that we might not even get because the referee is going over to the VAR monitor. It's the final run-in of Border Adventures. Maybe the ref's going to come back and say, actually, do you know what? I've reviewed it. It's not a penalty. You never know. We've seen a few of these. He normally gives the pen. And he gives the pen. Bremer steps forward. That is... Well, that is pretty convincing now. 17th of the season for Bremer. Is that his hat trick for today as well? Steps forward, places it the opposite direction to the keeper's dive. 4 0 up against Nijmegen. Excellent work. And the fact that Dora is on a 6.8 when we are 4 0 up is beautiful. No, let's say assertive. And let's say don't get complacent. And Dora is playing poorly, which means we can get Bremer out onto the right wing. And we can bring on, maybe for the last time on camera, old Peter Musa, who came with us, what, all the way back in that first season at Shrubbery. He came in on loan, seven goals in ten appearances. We signed him permanently at Toulon. He was an absolute hero in the lower French leagues. He's now playing at the age of, what, 32? 33 is out of birthday. He's playing some of the best football of his career. Let's end with Musa in the team. What have we got? Another kickoff highlight. We now want to get the ball wide, and we want to get it in to the big man. Chinchilla, Van Hoen, you know what to do. Cross it in. Oh, he's hit the bar. His first touch since coming on. That's the magic of Musa. We've now got three animals on the pitch as well. We've got a moose, we've got an otter and a chinchilla. Can't ask for more, can you? I was very tempted to bring him on to take that penalty, but I didn't think I would have enough buttons to click to orchestrate that. Can he get a goal of his own volition? I'm backing him. Come on, Nijmegen, they've got nothing to play for. We're going to demand more. That's focused everybody. People are playing well. We just need to get the ball wide and get it into the box. It's got to be a header if he scores, hasn't it? It's what he's all about. We've gone wide. Here is the chinchilla. He's got men in there. Oh, he's had another chance. He's a threat. Tell you, Dutch air in division level, he's not out of his comfort zone. We're in the 81 minute mark now. We don't have many more chances left. Merger, go on, hit that byline. We're going down the other wing, I think. Come on, Bremer. Pass it over. Here we go. You know who's in there. Get it over. Not him. You don't want it him. Although. It he is bigger than Musa and probably more of an aerial threat. We go again. Here we go. Chima. Come on, we want this goal, don't we? His closest effort was that header against the bar 20 seconds after coming on. He's through. You'd say that's probably the chance you were looking for. Highlight goes on, though. We've gone wide again. He's still in there. He loves the width of the posts. Stands on that six-yard line. Can't win his header. We go again. Oh, has he hit the bar again? Oh, he's just getting unlucky now. The man is an absolute battler. He can't get that goal, but he's on the podium. There are the boys dancing. We've done it. 
this is what we wanted in the final season. We wanted a bit of silverware. God, it would have been lovely if it had been the Europa League, but we'd already won a European competition the year before. Maybe more important to go out there and get that Eredivisie title. And you know what? I'm going to be honest and say, we've done it pretty convincingly. We're going to have a look at that table. We have finished well ahead. What are we now? 21 points ahead of Ajax. They've still got a game in hand. But we've got five fixtures left. Five games left. We've wrapped up the title. If it wasn't for that pesky defeat that we bought you against our Rotterdam neighbours Sparta. Well, we could have had an Invincibles League campaign on our hands here. Maybe if we beat Emin in the cup final... And Invincibles double, Sparta, well, they scuppered that little plan. But that means we've now got a title in the bag in our final season. But we're going to roll the dice and gamble. We're going to come back for the Emin Cup final game and see if we can finish Border Adventures on a triumphant note. A win, and it's the double, a defeat. Well, and nobody really re will remember that we won the Eredivisie title. All you'll remember is that we lost to a smaller team when we had the chance of doing the double. But that is definitely the episode that we're coming back for. And we can also check in on our old clubs and see how they've all finished Border Adventures as well. Thank you for everybody that's been watching, liking, subscribing, commenting as well. You are all beautiful people. And we will see you next time for the very last time of Border Adventures in FM20.